position. She was of great age and had lived with her husband. Seven, I love the second part, from her. This is how women used to get married. You count your marriage from your virginity. I don't want to continue. <laughs> That's for February. Let's continue there. And this woman was a widow of how many years? 84 years. Who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And coming in what? That instant. This was not when Jesus was being circumcised. This was dedication. Circumcision was eight days. Mary could not have been there. I know it's written in one verse. But dedication is after around 77 to 90 days. But after the woman has gone through the purification, she can now show up to dedicate. Because we know that Mary carried sacrifices. And coming in that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for redemption. In her assignment was over. The Savior has arrived. And the devil could not hijack the gate of entry. Somebody say the law of realms. The second reason why he came as a man is because of what we call the law of redemption. Somebody say the law of redemption. There were four significant things that were needed for a person to redeem another person. Four significant things. The, the pattern of redemption is put in a very small book called the book of Ruth. That's where you come across the name Kinsman Redeemer. Boaz. It's a four chapter book. You can even read it tonight before you sleep. A very romantic book about a woman who gets a husband in the season of harvest. It carries wisdom of how to deal with a man. You don't bring your bills when a man has nothing. When you know a man has been paid, you can afford the bills. And this is how you afford the bills. By sleeping at the feet. It's called submission. That counsel came from an old widow by the name of Naomi. Naomi told Ruth, if you want this man to marry you, Wait when he has harvested and his heart is merry. Then go and sleep at the feet of the man and pull the blanket that is covering himself with. It has prophetic symbolism, a lot of it. It's a book we might need a month to dig in. I know the questions you're asking, Pastor, why can't we dig? We will dig. But what happens? Naomi is a picture of the Judaistic Old Testament model that must train Ruth, a Gentile, a Gentile who does not understand the protocols and patterns of dealing with Yahweh. So there must be a Judaistic woman who begins to train this Gentile on how to deal with this God. And one of the things is that the redemption of this gentle woman shall be by the woman submitting at the foot of the feet of Jesus. 